Welcome back to Crafted by Ray. Today I'm going to show you how I made these little pumpkins um, out of some cedar fence pickets to kind of have a fall decor feel. I posted up on Facebook uh, this weekend saying, hey, is anyone interested? And I sold a few, so I'm going to show you how I make these really quick. Let's begin. All right, I'm just measuring off the pumpkins I already have, and I am cutting them to their desired sizes. Now, the sizes I will be cutting them to are six and a half, five and a half, and the smallest pumpkin will be four and a half. Okay, well, what you're going to see me do here is I'm going to take the ones that I've already created and just trace it out onto the new blinks. Now, if you're not like me and already have done this once, all I'm doing is putting a small 45 in the corners, and the groove is the thickness of these, which is 5 8 on these cedar ones, but as you know, they vary from side to side. This one's going to fit a little looser. But that's okay. So all I'm going to do is use that as a template, which if you're making stuff like this, it's great to use the part that you're doing as a template to speed the process up. And now I can just trace this out, cut this on the bandsaw, and cut these ends on the miter saw. And then it's time to do a little sanding and staining. So let's see what happens. Okay, as you can see, I am tracing the 45s on both sides of the blank that I'm making. And I realized that I did not need to do that. As you can see on the chop saw, I just rotated the part right here. And then I didn't have to flip it. Okay, now I gotta cut the groove in the center so they can interlock. Now I just wanna say when you get these done, if you're looking to make some extra money, they kind of fold down flat and they do not rot. So that's good, you can use them for next year. And if you have not yet already, could you consider hitting that subscribe button, give it a like and share the video. And we'll use the bandsaw to cut out these uh, notches. Okay, now I'm getting ready to stain them. I got this orange stain over at Lowe's. It's the only place I could find colored water-based stains. Now on the can it says uh, let it penetrate for about two minutes before wiping off the excess. 
um, you want to make sure to do that so that it dries properly and doesn't look all blotchy. Okay, next I'll be cutting the stick that I found in the backyard to put on the top of the pumpkins on the bandsaw, just like this. Okay, now I'm, uh cutting some twine and wrapping it around the stick tying a pretty simple knot clipping off the excess and I'll be doing that for each one of the pumpkins I think it adds a little bit I'm not quite sure I do think it would look a little better if I had a thicker gauge of twine, but this is what I had on hand. Okay, now I'm assembling the pumpkins. As you can see, they go together pretty easily. And I'll be just hot gluing those onto the center of one of the panels of the pumpkin. Thanks for watching my video so far. I hope you guys liked it and if you could do me a favor and click on one of these boxes here and here, it'll take you to another one of my videos that I think you'll like. And I'll see you next time with another Crafted by Ray video.